even and all. Just suck it on a strepsil. I've had a sore throat for a few days. Don't worry. I took a test. I'm negative. I don't have lurgy. Probably just a lifetime of exuberant sausage eating catching up with me. Anyway, today I'm going to a place called Eckington, which I know nothing about. So I'm going to shut up and cut to a good old dependable drone shot. Yeah. All right, here we are. The lounge in Eckington, Derbyshire. Ugh. Still got the guitar in there and the bag with kiwis on it for some reason. I've come for glory and burgers. Over there. Ooh, that looks, that's fancy, thank you. So you're eating it and you're filming it, so you don't need us to film it. <laughs> no, I don't need you to film it. I might give them a live rendition of garlic bread. It's a pretty cool place. They've got lots of music memorabilia, guitars on the wall. We've got Hendrix over there, Bowie, Bob Dylan. They've actually extended the time limit by the looks of things. It's now 20 minutes. I think it used to be 15 because no, but I think about 20 people have tried it and nobody's managed to do it. You can't really tell from the picture how big it is. First of all, do you think I'm gonna be able to do this? Taking a quick look at me, do you think I've got what it takes? <laughs> you don't no, look confident, no? no. You, what, are the, what, what are the rules then? Do you wanna tell me real um, quick? Yeah, so you get 10 onion rings, you've got our filthy chips, a big portion of them. Yeah. Also 10 patties yeah. uh, involved, so a big burger stack. Um, and basically you have 20 minutes, complete it in time, you get it for free. How much does it cost? Um, 25 quid if you don't 25 finish 25 quid if you don't, yeah. And has anyone, nobody's done it yet, right? Nobody's completed it It used yet. to be 15 minutes, right, and then you put the time limit up. Put the time up. Ooh, bonus. I didn't know that you got onion rings with it. Quite a lot of chips in the back as well, but 20 minutes. This, this should be doable. Famous last words, <laughs> but it should be. Oh man, that light's gonna be a killer. I've never seen a whiter building in my life. The sun's bouncing off this building up over there. Melt my corneas. I'm at a place today called The Lounge, which is in Eckington, Derbyshire. You get 20 minutes to finish. If you don't finish, it costs 25 quid. Three, two, one, go. Okay, thank you. Ugh. It's like pulling the sword from the stone. Right, let's do the burger first. That'll be the tough part, I think. What's up, Benami? Welcome back to another episode. And I know what you're thinking. Sir, you did not proclaim your customary catchphrase. And uh, yeah, you'd be right, but you have to cut me some slack because as I mentioned, my throat was feeling a little bit tender on this day. We're not going to use that as an excuse though. Unless of course I fail, in which case I will shamelessly use it as an excuse. <laughs> anyway, today we're at a place called The Lounge, taking on the burger challenge. It's a pretty new one. It's been around like, yeah, I think about five weeks. And originally the time limit was 15 minutes. They extended it to 20 though after a bunch of people failed. So hopefully we're going to get look in my face. <laughs> Those strepsils did nothing. Nothing, I tell you. <laughs> I think my tactic was pretty much just to stuff all the uh, the tough stuff in and get the painful bit out of the way early. It's pretty close than I thought. Yeah, you know, I, I let the burger cool too long. Normally, I make the opposite mistake. I'm sure I'll find a sweet spot one day, but the, the patties have started to stiffen up a bit, so they took some chewing. Those strepsils did nothing for me. This is like an elite athlete playing injured. <laughs> no, no, it's it's, uh, it's really nothing like an elite athlete playing injured. <laughs> Maybe my ability was curtailed a bit, but that is an audacious analogy. <laughs> The burger patties were actually really good. I think they would have been better if I'd not let it cool for 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm keep quick whining. Normally you say, oh, I, I should have let it cool. Now you're saying you shouldn't let it cool. Make your mind up, man. Chips next. Oh, my favorite, chippy chips. I should say what's on this, actually. I didn't um, itemize uh, the stuff, I don't think, at the beginning. You get 10 patties in the, uh, the, the burger. It's topped with onion rings. And then you also get some onion rings on the side, which aren't on the top of the burger. Uh, it's accompanied by filthy chips, not just dirty chips, filthy chips. I'm not sure what qualifies them as filthy. Maybe that cheese pour, that was a, a little bit pornographic. But yeah, whatever the reason for the name, they were incredibly enjoyable, which I know might come as a surprise to some of you. I'm not really into my chips, 
as commonly known, but uh, these were incredibly fluffy in the middle, nice and soft, easy to swallow, which is a key factor. Really hearty, thick cut chips that you, they're kind of deep fried twice over. You know the kind. This is the only time I'm probably going to say this, this calendar year, I imagine, but these chips are delicious. Tastes like the chips my granny used to make when I was a kid. Hey, just like granny used to make. If you're watching granny, you're the best. What, what am I saying? She won't be watching. All she watches is spaghetti westerns and that, uh, that, that TV show on Channel 4 called Naked Attraction, which I realise is, is weird for an old person to watch, but my granny's a bit weird. <laughs> onion rings. Yeah, it's onion ring time, baby. Can you think of anything better than eating onion rings to Marvin Gaye at like 12.30 on a Tuesday afternoon? <laughs> It doesn't get better than that, trust me. Oh, some coleslaw too. I forgot to mention the coleslaw, which uh, acted as a, a much appreciated lubricant for the onion rings because they were a little crispy, but I enjoyed them. They were good onion rings. Ugh. wonder if they've got any lemsip. That might help. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you one thing. You won't be complaining about a sore throat when it's time to order dessert in two minutes. Anyway, just got a, a little bit of salad to go now, and I don't know, some crispy stuff, maybe some batter from the onion rings or something. But we're almost there, almost closing in on, on the first victory, which is, uh, of course, a privilege. I lost track. Mmm, salad. Forget the fork. Forget the fork. Forget the fork would actually be quite a good t-shirt slogan. I'm just mashing all the salad together with the now quite cold clammy cheese but it, that, that mouthful was delicious you have my word for that i promise <laughs> they should put salad in more food challenges because it's the hardest part to actually you know manipulate and get down you yeah it's, it's, it's tough to get a clean finish when there's salad involved anyway hope you enjoyed it and um of course i'll catch you in the next one close enough surely Oh, there's a piece on the floor. Do you see that? Does that count? Is that good? Well done. Oh, thank you. I don't suppose you have a dessert menu, do you? <laughs> you could go for something a little bit yeah. sweet. <laughs> I'll take that away for you. Oh, God, I'm sorry about this glass. You might want to burn that. Like, set fire to it or something. <laughs> oh, this looks delicious. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Nobody's ever been this excited about a scone before. You know, there's a big debate in England as to whether it goes cream first, then jam, or jam first, then cream. I'm a cream first, then jam kind of guy. Yum. See that, the best fish and chips, the best. Should have brought Mrs. Beard with me to corroborate that. It's a, it's a bold claim.